Hey guys! Welcome everyone to our channel, where we bring you the latest news and exciting stories from the world of sport. Today, we're going to talk about Venus Williams' incredible return to Wimbledon and her epic battle against Alina Svitolina. Before we dive into this fascinating story, we'd like to ask for your participation. It is very important for us that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. These actions motivate us to continue bringing quality content and help us reach more people. So if you're ready to get involved and be a part of this passionate sports community, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's relive that exciting moment. Venus Williams makes her return to Wimbledon after a fall, but ends up being defeated. Wimbledon, England, as she walked onto center. Court for her 24th Wimbledon appearance at the age of 43, Venus Williams was greeted with a standing ovation. Holding a green exercise band above her head with both hands, she walked toward her side seat. At the start of her first round match against Alina Svitolina, Williams looked like a less efficient version of herself. Her powerful serves and accurate strikes were there, and she quickly took a 3-0 lead on Monday. However, when trying to execute a volley, Williams slipped on the green grass. Her right foot gave out and she fell to the ground. Screaming in pain, she controlled her right knee, which was already wrapped in a beige sleeve. Williams twice received treatment from a coach, including having her knee bandaged during a medical break after the first set, but despite continuing to play, she was unable to overcome 2019 Wimbledon semifinalist Svitolina as she was beaten 6-4, 6-3. I'm not sure what happened. I'll look into it tomorrow. It's late now. But it was very painful, Williams said. Grass is naturally slippery, you end up falling at some point. It was just bad luck for me. I started the game perfectly. I was dominating and then I got beaten by the grass. Williams, already world number one and now ranked outside the top 500 after a series of injuries that limited her participation to just 22 games. Since the start of 2021, was an oldest player at this year's tournament and fourth oldest to compete in the main draw at Wimbledon. Right now, I'm kind of in shock. I can't believe this happened. It's weird. I'm still processing everything, Williams said at her news conference more than an hour after the game ended. What makes it so hard to accept is the fact that I've had so many injuries. That's not what I want for myself. Svitolina was just two years old when Williams debuted at Wimbledon in 1997 and just five years old. When Williams won the event for the first time in 2000. It's always a pleasure to play against Venus, said Svitolina, calling her opponent a great legend. Williams also won Wimbledon titles in 2001, 2005, 2007, and 2008, as well as winning the U.S. Open in singles twice, and 14 more women's doubles titles with her younger sister, Serena, who staked herself last season. The older Williams has also been a four-time Wimbledon runner-up, most recently in her resurgence in 2017, a season in which she has reached a total of two finals and one more semi-final at Grand Slam tournaments. Since then, Williams, who was revealed to have been diagnosed with Sjogren's syndrome, an autoimmune disease that causes fatigue and joint pain, in 2011 has been knocked out in the first round in 10 of the last 15 Grand Slam tournaments. There were some classic Williams moments on Monday, such as serves that reached speeds of up to 117 miles per hour and powerful forehand and backhand shots that resulted in winners or forced errors by Svitolina. However, there were also 33 unforced errors, 18 more than Svitolina. Williams' total included eight double faults. The fall that silenced the stadium occurred just 12 minutes into the match. As she remained on the ground, her left leg smeared with chalk, it looked like she needed to stop. The chair Umpire rushed over to check on Williams' condition, and Svitolina also stepped forward, holding a white towel to place under Williams. Head. I'm a competitor. This is what I do for a living. I did my best today, 
Williams later said. I played a lot of games in 1A. A lot of games while I was injured. It's kind of my specialty. I just didn't realize it today. Still, the crowd certainly appreciated. The persistence and effort shown by Williams on Monday, rising to their feet to applaud her as she left the court with a quick wave. And a slight limp. During the game, there were many chants of Go Venus, or You Can Do It, coming from the stands. The truth is that both players are well-liked by the public, and Svitolina, 28, also received support from her fans and attendants. She is from Ukraine, a country that has been under attack from Russia for almost a year and a half, and returned to the circuit in April after giving birth to her first child with her husband, tennis player Gail Monfils, last October. Svitolina ended the game with more aces than Williams. 6-2, to two, and almost twice as many winners, 28-16. to 16. The grass takes a lot out of your legs and you have to flex your legs to execute all those shots, said Svitolina, who once reached third place in the rankings but is now ranked 76th after a break and also received a special invitation from the All England Club. Venus plays very fast and I had to work hard to get the win today. And so we come to the end of this exciting story. Thanks to all of you who followed Venus Williams' return to Wimbledon and her inspiring battle with us. I hope she was as excited as we were. We want to invite you to continue being part of our sports community, bringing you more incredible stories. If you haven't signed up yet, don't miss this opportunity. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any exciting upcoming content. And don't forget to leave your like and comment, we love to hear your opinion. Thank you all for your support and see you soon with more fascinating stories from the world of sport. To the next!